Hey, and good day, Houston. Welcome back to Brews with Beck and Houston Beer Guide. I'm your host, Dan. How the hell is your family? Slash you. Hopefully you're nice. Uh, I'm great. Uh, better than you right now, because I got this beer in front of me. So, uh, this is from, uh, uh, you know, my good old friend Bobby at Back Pew Brewing. Uh, don't get me wrong, obviously, uh, you know, Sylvia at Houston uh, Beer Guide gave me this can. She gave me another one, so you're going to be seeing me doing more beers from Houston here now that I finally have them. But this one right here is a pretty nice, uh, sounds pretty, you know, pretty refreshing bad boy called Hobzuna. Uh, it is 8.7 on the Richter. Got the Richter button back. Deuce, deucey. Uh, just to give you a heads up. This can is about two and a half months old, so it's not super fresh. So we're going to take that into consideration. I'm sure there's some sediment at the bottom, but I'm going to evaluate ba based on that. Uh, the brief description is uh, Tanuki um, has this, is this impending, or approaching our hero Tanuki is this impending sumo hop of destruction, wrecking palates with intense citra and azaka flavor and aroma, this double IPA is sure to give Tanuki a fierce battle. The, this beer is a, I think it's Kvik, fermented double IPA with oats for soft flavor, heavily kettled hops in the Whirlpool with Citra and Azaka, and then we give it a silly amount of dry hops per dry hop in this double dry hopped beauty. Say that again. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, Tanuki is, is obviously very special to Bobby and those at Back Pew. Uh, but yeah. Looking forward to it. It's funny that they, this beer actually says that it has, you know, uh, oats. Some won't, you know, say it, even though they, I know they've got them in them. So that's about it. Uh, you know, got my Dillon Texas shirt on. Houston Beer Guide in the house. What up, buffs? Let's get it, shall we? All right. I ask the usual favor. Please help me out and crush that like button or, or just finesse it, however you want to do it. But help me out. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. That way you can sit down with all these good beers all the damn time. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Help me out. Thanks so much. Booyah. All right. Let's get a little bit more in there. Still looking pretty good. You know, just got these uh, shipped to me. Didn't have, uh, you know, didn't have room in my bag to come back on the plane. Aroma check. Still smells nice. Smells really nice with the, like, I can smell the dry hop still. Which begs the question, can you still drink a double New England um, IPA after a couple months and it still be good? Let's see. Smelling some tropical dry hop. Uh, yeah, that's about, you know, kind of what I got right off the bat. Oh, by the way, Zaka's supposed to give you, if, if we all recall right, um... Juicy mango, tropical fruits, and citrus. So, just definitely, I, mean, I can't say mango for sure, but definitely getting tropical fruits and dry hop. All right, let's get into it. No words, just emotions. Houston beer. Let's go. Now I get the mango. All right, get everything in there if I can. Boom. There you go. Back pew. We'll take a good look at Tanuki Volume 3. All right. Good times. Good times. Let's drink. Yeah, definitely still get pretty big mango. Must be must be that Azaka. Um, but, yeah, nice and rounded this time. Getting less dry hop with uh, the second sip. Or little tangerine, mango, citrus, rounded fruit. I wouldn't. I, this doesn't taste eight point seven. I'd probably say I would would have guessed like eight, maybe eight. Does taste like a double though. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, one, one more sip and then I'm gonna give it just a quick break. Either way, smooth, rounded, tropical fruit. Um, liking it. I'm going to take sip just a bit off it. See if there's uh, anything else to pick up from it as it warms up. 
Maybe not, maybe so, and then we'll give it a grade. I and mean, then we'll go back to watching some good old Dylan Panther football. All right, maybe I will. You can watch uh, in Houston some Astros baseball or uh, go down to your local back view in Porter, Texas and get a nice freshie. So hold on one sec. All right. So what I uh, looked up on this is it said it was uh, Kvike uh, fermented <clears throat> double IPA. Definitely get the oats. Uh, Kvike yeast uh, supplies tropical and citrus fruit, orange, lime, grapefruit, mango, melon, pineapple, and banana regularly. I'm definitely getting, all, like, I could see that whole combo because I feel like I almost do get a little, like, uh, ripe banana, um, definitely subtle grapefruit, little orange, maybe mang uh, melon. It actually, like, even says you might get a funky, earthy mushroom caramel flavor or something like that. I'm not saying I get all, like, I might get a little, like, malty caramel, like, caramel malt going on. Uh, I'm not saying it's funky. It might be a little earth. Uh, but yeah, just get, for me, mango, um, oats, some, like I said, maybe like some, car like subtle caramel biscuit malt, dry hop, and uh, all that. But for being, you know, two and a half months in the, in the can, still drinking pretty, pretty dang good. Um, all right. I like it. It's, a, it's nothing incredible, but it's very like big, big rounded fruit. Uh, body is easily medium to heavy for a uh, New England IPA. And uh, it feels like it's about 8% when it's actually 8.7. So uh, hopefully you're enjoying your day. Looking at you. Please like and subscribe, of course. And let's rate this. From Stellar down to Hell No on this first of many Houston beers from Backview, which is actually Porter, Texas. I'm going to give this a, um, especially I'll tell you that, for for it not being super fresh that I have it, I'm going to give it, it's creeping into solid territory. I'm going to give it a 94. Um, it could have been higher if I probably had it fresh, but for this, I'm pretty impressed. So. Nice, just big tropical oats and that yeah that you know kvik uh, flavor as, as we noted so um big ups to soviet houston beer guide what up to bobby at back pew can't wait to see you again soon my friend uh go vanderbilt of course bobby there you go and uh hey remember help me out me and bronco bob like and subscribe Gracias, and we'll see you on the next beer review. It might be another Houston beer review. Good talk. See you out there.